It's lights out and away we go. Hamilton does get a very good start. Bottas behind him and then comes Max Verstappen and Verstappen already gaining on Bottas as Lance Stroll pulls to the inside as well. Hamilton's going to make the first corner ahead. Stroll on the inside of Bottas, squeezes Bottas, almost Alex Albon running into the back of the Mercedes and Bottas might now lose out to Sergio Perez as round turn three we go. Hamilton leads out in front and then comes the Red Bull of Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez behind Valtteri Bottas, Lance Stroll ahead of the Mercedes, Bottas lost out. We think the Red Bull has got every bit the race pace of the Mercedes. Yeah, this is looking good for Max Verstappen at the moment. This is looking better for Valtteri Bottas as he tries to get past Lance Stroll and now finally he's got wheel to wheel and finally he's got ahead of Lance Stroll. Max Verstappen finally gets rid of the soft tyres and he goes on to the medium tyre down the main straight comes Lance Stroll and he might have just got out in time with a 1.9 second pit stop as always you attack the pit in because it's all part of the elapsed time in the race and we saw Lewis oh very slow left uh, rear for there for yeah. Lewis but um, 4.3 they are double stacking down at Mercedes and Valtteri Bottas 1.2 seconds quicker in his pit stop than uh, Lewis Hamilton. Which uh, where's Verstappen going to be? He's well, going to be ahead of Bottas. Here. He is going to be ahead of Bottas. So Mercedes, did they react a little bit too late to Max Verstappen with Valtteri Bottas? Magnussen under pressure from Esteban Ocon. Ocon dives down the inside into turn one, puts his car up into ninth place. Alex Albon tries to follow him as well. And he certainly got the pace and ooh, 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 he only just avoided the Haas there going round turn three. But Alex Albon now puts himself ahead of Kevin Magnussen, who I might think is just starting to struggle on that soft compound tyre because diving down the inside is Carlos Sainz in the McLaren. That's three places in the space of one sentence that he's lost, Kevin Magnussen. Those tyres are over the cliff, as we used to say, rather more often. This is gripping racing, it really is. As now around the outside of turn four, Lando Norris tries to get past Esteban Ocon, no room on the inside at turn five, but around the outside, Leclerc's gonna go for it once again. Norris really struggling for traction, and Lando Norris still ahead of Charles Leclerc. Oh, Kip this is absolutely brilliant. Kvyat's about to join the party. And which way is Leclerc gonna go? He looks left, he looks right, he goes left again. And over the rumble strips, a bit of DRS comes to Lando Norris. Norris is aid. Yeah, Leclerc there. I think he uh, tried a little bit too hard on that one. Uh, and goes off the track as a result. We haven't paid the rent for out there. You can't <laughs> go out there. What has happened is Leclerc has gone from the points to tumbling outside the top 10. Engine stopped, broken. I mean, I don't know what happened. So into the chicane. Oh, the engine died. Completely. He just locked the back axle. It's like pulling the handbrake on. It's not it's not his fault. As Charles Leclerc does now become the first retirement from this race and is wheeled back into the garage. Uh, as science comes in, 2.8 seconds stationary is just long enough to keep him ahead of Alex Albon. But Alex Albon is now all over the back of that McLaren and has got a bit more forward momentum as he tries to go around the outside at turn three. Sainz ahead of Albon. Albon is desperate to try and get past uh, Carlos Sainz here and it's round turn four that he goes. Can he hang on in there? Ooh, they nearly came together and he just had to back out Alex Albon. Vettel then has had those tyres on since lap 28, I believe it was. And here comes Lance Stroll with DRS down the main straight, pulls over at the last minute, gets the maximum benefit of that slipstream, and Lance Stroll goes back into the top five once again, and Racing Point on for their best finish of the season so far. That was Romain Grosjean uh, in the Haas, wasn't it? Look what the f that idiot did. I was already turning, and he almost took me off. Whoa, he hit the curve, didn't he? Hit that sausage curve, or it certainly looked that way, and somehow managed to hold the Haas. Well done, Romain Grosjean. Lewis Hamilton, championship leader. He has led every single lap of this race. It's another Spanish Grand Prix victory for Lewis Hamilton. He extends his championship leads. Max Verstappen, his closest rival, is a long, long way back on track. Verstappen giving it everything. 
but Red Bull just didn't have the race pace to challenge Mercedes in the end. He did his hard work at the start and got past Valtteri Bottas. It's earned him second place in this race. Bottas is flying at the moment to try that fastest lap. Meanwhile, there's all sorts of goings on behind. Vettel over the line ahead of Albon and Gasly and Norris and Ricardo and Kriat. They'd like to keep racing to try and sort all that out. Valtteri Bottas comes home to take the fastest lap on the final lap and finish in third place. Lewis Hamilton had time to take in the scenery today. This was a relative stroll to another victory. He extends his championship lead. Hamilton looking very handily placed to go on and take crown number seven by the time we get to Abu Dhabi.